two peoples. Grizzly bear here, and I'm not on peaceful. Oops, no, 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 peaceful. Ah, there we go, better. Nothing in this world but me and my land to build on. So today, normally we're in uh, the special 1.7.8 mod to do some redstone and all that to, you know, kill Josh because that's what we do and give him prizes if he does survive somehow. But today we're doing something a little bit different because he wasn't able to get the server up for this morning. So we're just going to do something kind of cool and I'm going to show you guys how to build a TNT cannon. And we might blow up a few asses. But that is okay. And this isn't your average TNT cannon. I looked at that. I have I have my little manual here with me. So if you want to go check out this manual, it's pretty cool. But I decided to show it on YouTube because I know some people just want to go YouTube. But, uh, so I looked at the other one and it's cool. It's the normal one. But this one just seems so nifty because it just so much damage. So I will try and figure out how much we need or what we need and what we need to do. So let me pull up and get an achievement. So let's see. What do we need? Dispensers. Eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight dispensers. Um, apparently a ton of TNT. So I'm going to go TNT. Do this a few times. Let's do... Let's do eight. One stack for each thing. I'm going to throw this in my little chest thing. Right here. That way we can keep track of it and not have to keep it in there. Three slabs, so slabs. Let's do. Let's do this one because cobblestone kind of matches the top of that the best. Slabs. I don't know why I clicked on eight because I'm in creative mode, so you know. A lever. My cat keeps hiding behind our desks. Get out of there, kitty cat. Uh, redstone repeaters. That's my cat, guys. About 17 redstone dust. And two buckets of water. So, bucket. Which I need a normal bucket and and a water bucket. A few random blocks, so that, that doesn't really tell me anything there. Okay, so that's the slabs. Less water. Okay, I see why. Alright, so I'm able to build this kind of just looking off the picture to start with. If I can keep my book open. Phone, keep keep the book open for me, please. Alright, so first one is you put three slabs down in front. I'm sorry my cat went behind our desk again and I want to make sure he's not doing anything that will ruin so can you get out of there come on out get out get out thank you okay so three slabs there one two three and then at each end just no dispenser there dispenser there perfect uh, get off the posters! My cat is just being a butt today. I don't know what his problem is. And then we fill it with some water. I'm not sure where they put the water, so let's find out by looking at the actual step. Drop one bucket of water on the ground, on the ground at one end of this gap. And a second at the other end. Okay, so one there. Oops, not that. One there. One there. There you go. Perfect. It looks perfect. So then it needs three more. Okay, so this is where I need. Let's go stone. Let's do cobblestone just to keep it kind of looking the same. You place the cobblestone. God dang it. Shift and click the cobblestone onto there so it's. Above those dispensers, um, uh, 
and then you put three dispensers right here so now you have a line that looks like that right yeah I actually need they give you pictures and stuff but the pictures are just so small oh god um destroy the three blocks in the back so take out these three cobblestone place the redstone dust on on top of all come on so it needs to be on top top as well no but here yes here yes yeah dang i wasn't crouching remember to crouch when you place these and then down here and here oh here there we go and then you have to do a nice little creative thing so let's go out about here and they have it to our redstone repeater like that redstone repeater next to it like that and it looks like both of them are two clicks right um... build a pulsar place two redstone repeaters and four redstone powder just, just lever All the dispensers. Okay, so you need it said four, so it goes like that. Now it says to send a signal to the pulsar, you need to place a lever adjacent to the dust in the pulsar, and then flip the lever on and off as fast as you can. If you did it right, the pulsar will show a signal turning on and off very quickly. If you did it wrong, there will be no signal or steady signal. If you break the pulsar's connection, reconnect it and try again with the lever. So it needs to go. Okay, I need to figure out which way that is. The back of one of these, so like this. Dang, I did it wrong. Come on. God, I had it for a second. What if I just did a redstone piece? There it is. Okay, so don't use a re lever. Use a redstone piece. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, so there goes that. And then you fill all the dispensers. But does that really work like that? Oh, I see. Okay. So, I'm just going to put... God dang it. I need an empty hand. We're going to put one thing of each. A thing of TNT in each. Because their timing apparently has to be perfect. Because so what we'll do is with the redstone, it'll come all the way back here. Once we attach it, uh, we want to attach it over like this. No, it doesn't matter actually. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, perfect. So apparently, to cr to fire this crazy cannon is quite crazy indeed. You need to perform a tricky maneuver. First, connect the redstone dash attached to the bottom layer of dispensers to your pulsar. Then, very, very quickly, jump on top of the bottom layer of dispensers. Wait about one second to place a line of redstone dust on top, on top of the top layer of dispensers as well. You'll need to use the shift key to do, shift key to do this, and it will connect the top layer of dispensers to the redstone dust, and in turn, connecting the top layer to the pulsar. All right. Uh. One one thousand. Oops. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 
So they're all landing in pretty much the same spot. This one has it going a little bit more crazy, but it's it's actually out of TNT. Oh my god. <laughs> Slash time set day. Oh my god. So we still need to keep the tint or the redstone dust. Okay, perfect. Um we need a lot of TNT. A lot of it. Let's do another pretty much the same amount as we did last time. Just that way I don't have to go through them over and over and over. Oh I wish it could stay. Sorry guys, I hear something outside my apartment. Don't you love it when that happens when people are doing stuff outside your apartment and you don't like it? But then that way I don't have to just constantly No, do not use that. Okay, fine, make me do that. Oh wait, yes, it doesn't have to be in the center, so just to make it go faster, I'll just shift click it in. Okay, so just about got them all filled up. Yeah, so every single one managed to get through its TNT. Oh my god, the carnage. Okay, so let's go with... What's something that doesn't... Zombie pigmen. Zombie pigmen should not burn up in the sunlight, correct? No, you can't spawn it here. That's why. Um, spawn, um, I don't think a creeper actually burns up in the light, or a spider, so let's do those, oh wait, no, I know why it won't, there we go, there, there we go, let's just do a bunch of these things, actually I want to do a lot of creepers, that way they also blow up, Oh my god, could you imagine? Actually, you don't have to imagine pretty soon. Pretty soon you will know how to, you will be able to see a bunch of just creeper carnage and zombie pigmen as well. Because you know what, they're mean when you hit them. I guess a few slimes might also die and a few asses, but that's okay. It's it's okay, there's, there's some... I thought I, I could have sworn I just saw a witch. For just a moment I thought I did. Do a bunch of spiders. Because you know everyone hates spiders, so they kind of deserve to die. Okay, so. They, I would think there was a way to. Alright. Yes, I'm doing kind of about where they landed before. Just so it kind of hits its target. Just, just to make sure. Redstone. Let's put this in our first inventory. Ready, set, go. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. There we go. Oh my god. See, they're not quite hitting the places I was hoping they would hit, but... <laughs> We're not seeing the carnage I wanted. I should have put them in the holes, that's the only way. Hey, we saw a couple die, though. Let's see if I can get a couple before it was done, but never mind, it just, it goes through TNT so quick. Like, that is just crazy, but, well, there's still a lot of them alive, but if they were in the holes, they, they here, I, I need, we need to see how this goes. You're going to be trapped in here, I'm sorry, this is probably considered animal torture, but, you know, animal cruelty. But, they're evil animals, if they're trying to kill us, can't we kill them? I feel like that would make sense, right? Right? Can't do... Yes. There we go. You can get eggs if you right click. Or not right click. Uh, we got a jockey, which he's burning. If we get a chicken jockey, I'll be kind of sad, truthfully. If you don't know what a chicken jockey is, I'm, I feel sorry for you. Alright, that should be plenty. Just to get, just to get the results we need. 
Yes, you're very much clicky clicky. So now we need... I had just sawn it too. TNT again. TNT. Let's try this one more time. Just so you can see actual carnage of everything blowing up. Yes, you have to kind of reload it a lot, but that is okay. This this is just a mean way to spleef someone. This this would just be mean and cruel. Very, very cruel and kinda of hilarious to like spleef someone like this. Jeez. I'm not this will be one thing I don't do the one free man. I don't I'm not going to ruin his base, so. Alright, off we go to the carnage. One one thousand. There we go. Oh yes. Oh we got some over there. I think they're all gone. I've barely even gotten over here and all the mobs are just dead. <laughs> that was a direct hit. Oh my god. Some of the TNTs like bouncing off each other. Oh, spider died right there. Oh, he might die. He's going to die. Oh, nope. The thing's finished right before he died. So you know what? We're going to have to kill him ourselves. You, sh you should be dead by now. Alright, there you go. Thank you for the rotten flesh. Bleh. Anyway, guys, I guess that's how you build a pretty awesome, very, very awesome TNT cannon that is getting slightly annoying now that just it it's I'm gonna call it the crazy TNT cannon like this just shoots so much the other one is a single shot this is like a thousand million as many as you can fit in shot so anyway guys I hope you liked this video and I hope you try this out for yourselves be nice if you're going to grief someone just just please be nice because they will lose everything they legit will so thank you all for watching and we shall see you all later Bye bye Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.